What's going on everyone? I decided today to do a tool rundown of my Sweeney and Bloxage number 15 fly press. So I don't know a hell of a lot about this. Um, really there's not much information besides I know that this one was custom built. Most of them are a fair bit smaller than this. Um, Norton's and S and B's number sixes are pretty common. So um, the number system is basically the tonnage for it. So this has been estimated to be about 15 tons of pressure. Um, so this, it's pretty basic how it works. There's a giant screw in here that as it rotates, uh, it creates mechanical advantage. So before uh, hydraulics were readily available uh, or cheap, this is kind of the technology of the time. So I'm guessing this is, you know, 80, 100, 120 years old. We're not entirely sure, but it works really well. I built a bunch of tooling for it to do different things. Um, but yeah, the counterweights on the top there, they, uh, they create extra force as you spin it. So you can actually get, you know, extra, extra oomph as you go down. I built a little stop for it. And yeah, that's uh, that's kind of how it works. So I'll I'll show you little things that I did to it and a little bit of a rundown. I built this air bending block to be fully adjustable depending on the bend radius required, as well as a center peg for reducing material thickness while blacksmithing. This is some 1 by one by one eighth thick mild steel square tubing I'll be radius bending to demonstrate the power and ease of using this fly press. 